Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time and review to run and show you an inspection here under video of a almost brand spanking new Ace. This machine has 1900 hours of on time. It's an Ace horizontal boring machine with a built-in rotary table. It's a model AC90 serial number 90 G4-554 and it happens to be our stock number 681. With that being said, I would just like to reiterate on the overall condition. Go ahead, Frank. The overall condition of this machine, it shows absolutely no sign of use or misuse. And again, it has 1,900 hours of on time. Absolutely mint. Okay, we're firing up a three and a half inch diameter spindle with the number five Morse taper hole in it. That's a number five Morse taper in the spindle taper. Our spindle speed ranges, there's 20 of them. They range from 12 to 1,000 RPM. Frankie's going to show us the functions of this machine, how well it performs, and its abilities. 46 RPM. So this is basically a pint-sized horizontal boring mill. It's a three and a half inch size machine, so it's not quite as big as a four inch, and it's a little bit larger than a three inch. The spindle travels in and out 28 inches. The table cross travel on this machine is 67 and a half inches. 100 RPM. Here's the spindle speed chart, showing where we go from 12 to 1,000 RPM. It's set up with a low range as well as a high range. Thank you, Frankie. These ACE machines are absolutely fantastic. The machine was manufactured new in Spain. 210 RPM. Here's the motor, here's the head, here's the pendant control that Frankie's operating. Thank you, sir. Very simple. Great response, sir. Here's the spindle operating. Here is your built in rotary table. You'll notice we have it kicked off on an angle. I'd like to go in and start pointing out the flaking and the overall condition of this machine. Absolutely mint. Perfect. Four hundred and sixty RPM. This machine is also complete with an outboard support, or what we call in the business a tail stock. What RPM are we running? 750 RPMs. Again, trying to go in and show you the condition of the ways and the flaking as we go along. Take a look at those screws and the ways on this machine. That's a thousand RPM, folks. That's its top speed. Okay, there's 12 feeds from 0.002 to 160 IPR. There's 20 changes on the RPMs from 12 to 1,000. This working table area is a 38 by 59. So that puts our saddle travel at 71 inches. That's 71 inches of saddle travel towards and away from the column and on the cross slide that gives us 67 and a half inches on the actual cross slide well there's so many great angles on here I'm having a hard time focused on any one thing 
On the rotary table, let me do another thing here. On the rotary table, I'd like to show you the indexing. There's a scale down at the bottom. Where's a good spot for me to be? Back here for a minute? saddle towards the column. Saddle away from the column. So on the features, as the built-in rotary table, it has the built-in outboard supports. We're doing the cross light travel left to right. Beautiful. Again, coming up nice and close on the flaking. I can't say enough about the flaking on this machine. The overall condition is absolutely amazing. Oh, let me catch the action. There's the power rotation. This machine has coolant. It has pendant control. It has auto lube. It has power rapid traverse. It has a facing head with the parking bracket. It's a very heavy pattern machine. Its motor horsepower is 12.5 horse. It's currently running at 440 volts. Oh, that's cool. The tailstock is going up with the spindle. On this machine is 24,000 pounds. Let me come over, Frank. Again, showing the crossways, showing the saddle, showing the vertical column. Showing the head, the motor, the pendant control. I want to get around back and show them that built-in facing head. Even in areas like this, you notice the flaking. Absolutely amazing. Here's your built-in facing head. It's mounted on what we're going to call a parking bracket. Simply undo this lever right here, the knuckle swings around and mounts itself onto the spindle while loosening two bolts and tightening two bolts. So here's the killer parking bracket. I mean, this thing has never even turned a chip. Absolutely brand spanking new condition. While we're down here, here's the hour meter. Showing the 1,927 hours on it. Get you one more back view. So this machine would be perfect for tool and die shops, mold shops, research labs, aerospace facilities, defense type work, maintenance facilities for coal, oil, gas and energy, power plants, Very limited use, very extremely, extremely nice machine. Well, on behalf of Machinery Consultants, we'd like to uh, thank you for your time and review. If there's any additional information we can offer on this machine, please don't hesitate to call us at 801-531-9500. As well as this video and additional photos can be seen on our website at www.machineryconsultants.com. That's www.machineryconsultants.com in Salt Lake City, Utah. Thanks again for your time. Have a great day.